Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Christmas is just around the corner. Aren't you excited? I sure am. I'm looking forward to spending time with my family, opening presents, and enjoying some Christmas cookies. Speaking of cookies, in this video, I will be making some really awesome and delicious Christmas cookies to get ready for the holidays. Let's make some cookies. Okay, so I, I laid out a piece of parchment paper with flour on it. I sprinkled some flour on the parchment paper to prevent the dough from sticking while I, while I use the cookie cutters. And I have a bowl of flour right here to dip the cookie cutters in so that they don't stick to the to the cookie dough. I've got my pre-made sugar cookie dough right here. I don't really like gingerbread cookies, so I'm, I'm doing sugar cookies. So first I'm gonna do cookies shaped like Santa's head. So first I'm gonna take a piece of cookie dough like that and then roll it into a ball. I'm going to flatten it out. So now I'm gonna make Santa's hat. So I have another piece of dough here. I'm going to try to make it into the shape of Santa's hat. I'm gonna take one piece off, and then this part is going to be the main part of the hat. So that's what it looks like. Now that I'm done with Santa's head, I'm gonna start using the cookie cutters. So the first one I'm gonna do is this gingerbread man. I'm gonna cut another piece of dough and then roll it up. And then I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of flour to help it not stick. And then I'm gonna flatten it out on the parchment paper. I'm going to dip the cookie cutter in some flour and then, and then cut it. And then remove the excess dough. Two cookies down. Now I'm gonna do a Christmas tree. I'm gonna cut another piece of dough again. And then dip it in the flour. And then flatten it. And then use the cookie cutter. I'm gonna remove the excess dough that's on the outside. Three cookies down. Now I'm gonna do the snowman cookie cutter. I'm gonna dip that in the flour, and then cut the dough, and then remove the excess. Oh, that was, that was easy. Four cookies down. Okay, I'm gonna be doing one more cookie, and that is the candy cane cookie. So I'm gonna repeat the steps as last time. I'm going to take another piece of dough, Roll it up into a ball, dip it in the flour, roll it up again and, and flatten it out, dip the cookie cutter in the flour, and then cut it. And then remove the excess dough. I'm putting them in the oven now. And I'm gonna let them bake for a few minutes. Okay, change in setting. I am now at my grandma's house. And the cookies are all done and cooled. Now it's time to decorate them. So first I'm gonna take this white frosting and frost it like this. And now I'm going to do this. <laughs> this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to use M&Ms for the buttons on its body. And for the eyes. And that's how I decorate a gingerbread man. So now I'm gonna be decorating the candy cane cookie. First gonna take the white icing and do this. 
And now I'm going to take the red icing and do the same thing on top of the white. Okay, this isn't the prettiest thing in the world, but this is how it turned out. I tried. Okay, so now I'm going to be decorating the snowman cookie. So first I'm going to cover the entire cookie with white frosting. That's what it looks like so far. And now I'm going to spread it. And there we go. Next I'm going to take this chocolate frosting and draw some arms for it. And last but not least, I'm gonna take some brown M&Ms and give it buttons, eyes, and a mouth. So this is what the finished snowman cookie looks like. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm happy with it. Next, I'm going to be decorating this Christmas tree. So first off, I'm going to take this green frosting. Sorry, that's my grandma's cat. I'm gonna take the green frosting and now I'm going to spread the frosting all over the cookie. Now I'm going to draw a stem. Now I'm going to take this yellow frosting and draw some garland on the cookie. And I'm going to use these sugar sprinkles to emphasize the garland. Oh. So far I've got this. Now I'm gonna take some M&Ms and put them on as ornaments. And that's the finished cookie. This looks prettier than the other ones. Let's move on to the next cookie, or the last cookie. And last but not least, I'm going to be decorating a Santa cookie, which is broken, but I'm still going to make it work. So first I'm going to frost his beard. I'm going to spread it on. Now I'm going to do his hat. So I'm first going to do the brim of the hat, and now I'm going to do the rest of the hat. going to use these two red M&Ms as eyes and then I'm going to use a mini marshmallow for the pom-pom on his hat and then I'm going to fill out his beard with these mini marshmallows And last but not least, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to do a mouth with the chocolate frosting. <clears throat> and here's the finished cookie. I don't think it looks that pretty, but I'm happy with it. So here are the finished cookies. Don't they look good? I'm really impressed with them. They turned out really good. I hope you enjoyed watching me make those cookies. Making the cookies was a lot of fun. My favorite part was definitely using the cookie cutters and decorating the cookies because I could just use my imagination and be creative. If you liked this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, what is your favorite type of Christmas cookie? 
or your favorite type of cookie in general. Thank you for watching. Bye.